Okay, so it is official. I'm kind of addicted to this game and I couldn't wait to play it again. Uh, last time we finished the first run with the goddess and now it is up with the second run. I think we already spent all our skill points, yes. So let's get into it. Yep, I, I can see why you're tired. Okay, so we got uh, three new creatures. First of all, it's the Mummy Scarab, has an AoE air attack and also applies elemental weakness, which is really nice. And then also a uh, back rank morale attack with Terrify. Interesting. I bet that pairs really well with the um, Mummy Servants. Then we also got the Anubis Disciple. He has a front ice damage and morale recrosses to the hero positioned behind the target. The target's morale is under 50%. And also an AoE damage. Uh, 21 damage of type equivalent to the target lowest resistance. Okay, interesting. Mm. I think... He pairs better with the ghost. And then also the Sphinx has a front nature attack. Damage increased by 50% if the target's armor is negative. And then also an AoE nature damage that applies nature weakness. Okay, um... I just noticed we got two Dark Magus. I definitely want them in a team. And then also I want to pair up the Ghost with the Anubis Disciple. I think that's a good composition for now. Okay, let's see what we got. Mm, I do like lots of gold, so let's go for that. Okay, what do we have? Air damage in the front. Ice damage to everyone and fire damage in the front. So air and fire. Um, yep, it's gonna be you. You and you are in the back. Oh, it's kind of cute, isn't it? And then over here, what do we have? A protective tablet. Uh, plus shell to the next group of monsters. I do like that. Also Pandora's box. Which I want to use after the trap room. So let's do that. Is it just me or does it look kind of out of place? Like it's lacking depth? Or perspective? I don't know. Oh right, we also start with a crystal skull, which is nice. And then Pandora's box to apply some more debuffs after the spell room. And over here was air and fire. So... Uh, I guess the ghost, the Anubis, and the Sphinx. It's so tiny. Okay, let's see. First of all, I just love Impairment. I think it's a great ability. Because Tiredness is just an awesome debuff to have. Okay, lots of damage. Oh, that applies... Elemental Weakness. Okay, um... That also applies Elemental Weakness. And quicksand applies Terrified. I do think I want to do quicksand. And then do... Blade Thrust. And then Impairment once again. And hopefully they won't deal enough damage to... Uh, never mind. Uh, quicksand again. For loads of morale damage and then once again Impairment. Keep the tiredness up. Hopefully survive. Nope. But then you can do quicksand once more. And then hopefully the trap will finish him off. Or oh, please live. Ah. Too bad. Alright. Run away. And now I want... Slow would be kind of cool. 
This is not a morale. Oh, it is a morale team. So I guess Solar Eclipse will be the best choice. And then stack up the Demoralized. Yep, that's what I like seeing. And now do... I guess that? More Demoralized? Or target the front. No, I think we should go for more Demoralization. Did you of the Depths or Glacial Kopesh? It's quite a strong attack though. But Glacial Kopesh for now. And then you... Is your armor negative? It is not, okay. Then I guess... Uh, Use Earthquake. That's a lot of damage. Uh, more Spectral Wave. I think we should start killing them. More morale. Uh, hold on, five. That deals minus 25 morale, which will not be enough. But it, that applies to demoralize 3, so it'll be an additional 15. Still not enough. Oh well. It is what it is. Uh, and now set up a kill? I think so. Nice, a skeleton. And then earthquake to kill. Yep, fair enough. And Glacial Kopesh. Should be under 50% now. And then uh, Lion's Claw. Please survive. Mm. Oh, whatever. Go for the kill. Sweet. Oh, and we got a new monster over here the Grief Weaver. Has a front row nature damage attack and minus 20 morale. Also afflicts poison. Also an AoE morale that applies terrified. Okay, nice. But I do think I want to go for the Mummy Servant. Because they are quite sweet. <coughs> ah. And then I will go for the Merchant. And I will buy a Mummy Magus and also an Abyssal Warrior. And then I will renew. <laughs> I want to get a third Dark Magus. Uh, I think I'll renew once more and get a Mummy Colossus. Yes. Nice. I uh, don't want to sell anyone at the Black Market, so let's go to the event. It's that an Oil Cauldron. Uh, I only have two traps, but I think that's enough for the moment. Oil Cauldron deals Fire Weakness. So I don't really need that. Let's go to the Trainer. Uh, and I guess... Upgrade the ghost? I think so. Can we send someone on a business business trip? I think we can. Oh, that's a good one. They said the front gain 40 speed. That's a really good one, but I want to use the ghost for now, so I think I'll just send one Dark Magus for the gold and the blood. And what do we have here? Artifact, easy choice. So, uh, nature, anyone who, who synergizes with nature damage, I think only the giant mummy. Um, we're just gonna go, wanna go full on front morale nuke. Mm, penalties. No, I think. Yeah, this guy, this guy, the Anubis Disciple, the Mummy Magus, and the Ghost should definitely be in one team because they all target the front. I think the Abyssal Warrior can stay in the back. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh, I need to drink my throat is so dry. Ugh. Nice. So what do we have? A uh, Berserker, Onamusha and a Scout, so that's physical and fire on the front. And physical in the back. 
Uh, physical and fire in the front. I guess that's you. And then physical in the back is gonna be the ghost. You don't even have that much um, morale, so I guess also go for the mummy disciple. No, the not mummy disciple, the mummy magus. That should do it. And then go for yeah, plaintive tablet. To add shell to this group. Uh, physical and fire. That is you. And then physical in the back is you. And then... Mm, don't really have anything that synergizes with nature damage. Except you. But I think the mummy servant will be better for that case. Pandora's box over here. And let's see. Okay, so full on stress nuke in the front. I like that. Ouch. And then hallucination. And then glacial copish. Ouch. That hurts a oh that hurts a lot. Uh scare again. And now probably the ghost also dies. Yep. And hallucination on you. And now you're dead. Oh well. And now the barbarian should run away. Yep. Nice. And then. I should do Golfer's Blessing. Give them random bonuses. I think so. Yep. Now let's see. Uh, stress Nuke to the back. Also Tiredness. Which I like. Okay, and then Permafrost Blade. Sweet. And then... I guess Soul Absorption. Uh, doesn't really do any th that much. Uh, applies bleeding. Hmm. Guess I'll just do that. And then once again, wrapping grab. Man, these these mummy uh, servants are so strong in the early game. I love it. They do fall off quite a bit, but in the early game they are top tier. Bye bye. And now I think I can do some bleeding. And you apply tiredness, please survive. Ooh, one HP. Goodbye. Okay, what do we have? Demonic pendant applies terrified to uh, all heroes when a demon is defeated. Nice. Liquid nitrogen, ice damage from monsters attacks are dealt to the target's fire resistance. If it's slower than the ice resistance, or a protein barrel. Hmm. All not too good. But I think... Do I have that much ice? I don't think so. I think the demonic pendant is the best for the situation. Okay. My ghost needs to rest. What do we have here? Trainer, I think? Yep. Uh, against Rapid, start of the Mummy Scarab's turn, okay. Uh, you, minus 40 morale, removes all bonuses. Oh, that's really strong. Uh, you're also quite good. I think I want that. And use these things a little bit more. Uh, can we afford to send someone on a business trip? I don't think so. So let's plunder. Find a monster. I guess that's fine. Uh, Five percent one volunteer. I think that's the best one. I mean, minus one morale. It's not because he has to sit out anyway. I'm getting a Kakaro. Nice. Mm. Now I think you're better in the front and you're better in the back. Yes. Minus 60 morale, that is quite hefty. I like that. Now, um, event. 
Ooh. 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 I do think I like the critical hits. Or double damage on the first hit. I'm gonna go for crits, as for now. And then we can also do a little bit of workout. Well, I said a little bit. Oh, a champion already? Oh, you don't say. Can we take them? Probably. Still early, early in the run. No reason to not go for a little risk. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. Okay. Dwarf, Barbarian and Apprentice. So physical, air and fire to the front. That's you. And then I guess... Uh, Good question. Demons? Or mummies? Mm, nature weakness. Minus morale. He's got a lot of morale though. And he's in the front. Um, minus morale and terrified on the back. Or do I want tiredness? I think I want tiredness on everyone. Uh, can they debuff us? Broken armor. And air weakness. I think he's gonna be really good. Okay, for the trap, I do want the tablet. Yes. And then here I want the Pandora's box. And over here, once again, air, physical, and fire to the front. Uh, which is gonna be you. And then I guess you in the back. And I guess you. Yes, you. Yikes. Okay, so first of all, apply tiredness. Oh, hold on, he actually benefits from that, doesn't he? No, vulnerable, okay. And then, uh, Morbid Hallucination or Embalming? Oh, embalming when they got penalties. If they even live that long. And then Glacial Kopesh. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, okay. Uh, bleeding. And hallucination. And that's probably gonna be it. Yep. There you go. Hold on. This this guy is actually naked. Like actually, literally naked. Holy, and you're still alive. Damn it. Wow. That's quite something. Oh, morale crits also really good. And you're still going. Oh well, there it is. Uh, do you want to go for solar eclipse? Or burying? I mean, the draws are already slow. Or do I just want to buff them? I think solar eclipse is going to be a good one. Debuff them even further. And now it's going to they're going to get even more stacks. Okay, and now you can do... Hold on, so that's 15. That's 45. Ah, doesn't... Not enough. But if I can make her flee, then he'll probably flee as well. And then... Permafrost Blade? Oh, he deals AoE, okay. Uh, soul absorption. Nice. Oh, come on, you got seven morale left. And that should hopefully chain everyone into fleeing? Nope, not quite. Now you're gonna flee and you'd fall. Sweet! What do we have? Trollbeer, Chuboku, and Infernal Guardian. I think the Chuboku is gonna be quite good in this composition. Plus, we do need some more monsters. Uh, Boku's probably gonna be better in the 
back with the scarab. Yes, that looks nice. Mm. You need to rest. You also need to rest. So I can assume that you can go in the front. Uh, let's go to the engineer. And shell 2 would be kind of nice, so I'm going to get that. And the event. The ninth door. Uh, demands blood, quenches thirst, and he will send one of his most dreadful avatars into the mortal world. Summons a random monster of the demon type. Sure. A for the Kuchi owner. Hmm, I guess. I guess. Uh, but you can go into the back rank. Now, seminar? Seminar. Uh, armor is increased by 40. I love that. Now, I do want a master bonus. Oh, first the disaster room, okay. Uh, in that case, I do want a protective tablet. And now, ice in the front, fire in the front. Uh, I guess it's gonna be you? You can probably make the first guy flee really easily. So we'll take you. Hold on, ice and fire is... You're even more better at that. Yep. And then the ghost. Okay, looks nice. Pandora's box. Oh, fire and ice. It's gonna be you. And then I guess the Shiboku and the Futakuchi owner. Yes. Let's see. What do we have? Easy target for Ooh, damage taken is increased by 100%. Frostbite. Yes, I do want that. Nice. Okay, so now we can scare this guy into oblivion. And Glacial Kopesh. And Millennial Riddle, yes. Ooh, that's amazing. Yikes. Uh, can you scare him away? Yes, you can. I love how that chains. And now do the riddle. That's a lot of damage, and that was a crit. Oh, it's beautiful. Now even more terrified. I like that. So, solar eclipse. Okay, so... Guess harassment? Does it not do anything? Why is she? Oh, ignores the first sex effort. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Uh, that'll make you go away. And now I guess Infernal Blade. And say almost goodbye. Yeah, say goodbye. It was crit. Nice. Generation, Fear of Mummies. Fear of Mummies is a really good ability. Let's do that. Ultimate Despair Live.